The following podcast contains spoilers for the book chosen and may include spoilers for other books in the same series. The participants of this podcast have also been drinking a lot. The participants of this podcast are professionals and did not drive home until sober. Please, drink responsibly. I'm trying to read. Alright, now we can start. <laughs> I, need, I need a little bit of uh, opening silence so I can edit the song in and the intro. I want to start hearing just a bone is What, the intro? Yeah. It's something like, And the player's gonna play, 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 play. Take it out. Welcome to the Blackout Book Club, hey. the podcast where we read a book yep. and then try to discuss it after drinking too much and then not being able to discuss it. I think you um, discuss it. That's what we do. Who do we have on today's episode? I don't know. Introduce yourselves. I'm Tom. And I'm Will. Wait, Will? I don't You're do, usually Jake. I don't do <laughs> anything in particular, but... <laughs> I'm happened? just as good as one and a half Jakes? I one was, and a oh, half Jake of Whoa! Makes it better than one Jake, which is all we ever get. <laughs> I wish Jake would bring more of himself. <laughs> God dang. Uh, right. If only he didn't have a job and things that were important to life. Loser. Yeah, what a loser. And Man. I know Volt Tackle. I'm Tristan Walsh. Oh, egg powers. <laughs> I know about that. I breathe Digimon. <laughs> I know. Bring it on home. I breathe Digimon. Full Digimons. circle. <laughs> Nobody understands. They don't right. need to know. We know. So. We know. We know. <clears throat> uh, one second, one second. We are one looking. All right. Never happened. So Wait, anyway. Okay. Uh, we have here, a book. We have a book. my book I picked. It's, it's, Tom, you did pick it. I don't remember when you picked it because I was really fucked up on that last podcast. Yep. I almost died. But I almost didn't. died. I, I kept the namesake of the podcast thanks and to, I blacked out. Thanks to stem cell <laughs> research, we were able to clone a new you. Hello, I am. A probably I am, better you. What, what, I am Tristan. Tristan. You know, like there's two A's now instead uh, of one Tristan. A. Tristan. Yeah, He's Tristan. He's so confused. <laughs> I am a dark Sith Lord because the book this week is Star Wars Air of the Empire. That was probably really hard to understand. It's Air to the Empire. Is that Star Wars? That's Star Wars. It's probably Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. All right. That's right. There Take we it. go. We're Take done with it. that. Williams. So. <laughs> Can't remember your first name. We do it just as well. So we all read the book. <clears throat> yes. And uh, we're going to discuss it after we go over. Because I got a question. Yeah. Begin every podcast. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. What you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> New Jake Will. Tell us what New you're Jake drinking. Will. New Jake Will. That's me. Yeah. Well, I prefer just Will for sure. First of all. Will, what you drinking? Just Will, what you drinking? <laughs> oh, J Dubs. Why I'm drinking Steel Reserve Aloe Series <laughs> Blackberry Two One One. It's all the uh, oh, you fucked up your stupid beer thing with all the nice extra taste the of berries. Yeah, berries. <laughs> what kind of berries is it? Black. It's, it says BLK. Black. Don't be fucking racist. BLK. <gasps> They're whatever kind of berries. They could be. This is a this is a this is a podcast about like learning and understanding. They could be books. Uh, we don't need racism in this. In this motherfucker right now. I'm drinking now. Steel Reserve Aloe Series with the uh, African American berries. Which is also what I'm drinking because Will's just drinking what one up? of mine. Steel Reserve. What of his? Alloy Series. Blackberry. Manly Boys. 211. I'm, I'm drinking a Sam Adams. Sam Adams. <laughs> cherry <laughs> Wheat. Because, meh. What yeah, the that's fuck what I'm that voice? <laughs> that was the, yeah, it was the Sam like, Adams like voice. Sounds like I made a dumb voice. Because I said the word wrong, so well, I better, like, I say face. I roll with it. Yeah. Well, 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 they made dumb voices. I figured I should make a dumb voice. All right. He's He's whole podcast unanimously, dumb voices. we're all dumb. Whatever. So dumb. Deal with it. Yep. Here we <laughs> now go. That, now that everybody at home knows what terrible things we're drinking. So terrible. books. Let's go over some books. Don't buy it. Don't it's buy a good what? book. No, buy the book. 
Buy the book. Yeah, buy the book. I'm just saying. Don't, don't buy the. Don't buy the terrible drink. things we're drinking. Oh well, I like it. It's not. Then why terrible you say they're fucking me. terrible? Well, I'm just like pessimistic and like an asshole. Yeah. I'm trying to agree with it's you. It's a good it's kind of terrible. It's very difficult. It's a commentary it's a very thing. Difficult. And well, you're I hope. It. I hope you. Ca- I hope you agree with me on the book that we read, Heir to the Empire. So. Tell us how the book starts off, Tristan, and then run us through the whole book. In run, 20 minutes not, or less. not part of the book. The whole the book whole and book. nothing but the book, so Begin help you end. book. Preferably in order. All right. Well, well I'm not going to tell you to live your life. I got a not pausing for time. So, no. we read Heir to the Empire. It is the first and most important of the expanded universe uh, stories for Star Wars. Now, taking you say, place directly after episode six. You say we read the book. You both do. Did audiobooks, which means you yeah. know how to pronounce the names correctly. Yes. So correct we me audio, throughout. But constantly. we had a, we had a well, shot and a beer, we, and I also only like took a nap halfway through yeah. the book. Correctly, so. or just the way that guy happened. Yeah, to that guy. Him. That guy could have been an asshole, and he could have yeah, lied he to us. That's what I've heard about him. What's his name? <laughs> Lee Dixon. I hate that guy. <laughs> Lee Dixon, <laughs> asshole. <What> an asshole. <laughs> anyway, so it opens. It opens up. Words. We're introduced instantly to Pelion. He was a uh, he was a commander under. Vader mm-hmm. and yep. Vader's dead now. Big up oh, spoilers, movie spoilers. spoilers. We're gonna spoil things. Yeah. Did I mention that Vader's dead? Lol. This, did this you not see a movie 70s. from like fucking twenty five years ago? I know. Sucks. I know. You realize everything in Lone Shark pretty much just spoils everything for everything because we don't like other people oh, and we yeah. just want to ruin their day. Except for you. That was an inaccurate representation and you. of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're so, introduced to Pelion. Pelion, Pelion is then. Through him, we're introduced to Thrawn, mm. who is the big bad of the book. The Thrawn, whole series. Admiral, this is a three-part Thrawn. trilogy, as yeah. are the movies. Big Possibly bad. the only Grand Admiral yeah. left the only, in the Empire. A big deal. Ooh. Because there were a bunch, and now there's not. There's Ooh. Thrawn. Tiny His Fire uniform Ooh. is white. It, mm. <laughs> very white. <laughs> That's how you know. He's yeah. the Grand Good. Admiral. Good, Good impartial Good information yeah. That's, that's will. how you know. It's Thrawn likes art. <laughs> yeah. How else would you know? We're introduced to Thrawn. Yeah. Thrawn is the big bad of the of the series, yeah. and he uh, he's very methodical, very planned. He's mm-hmm. a tactical genius, basically. And I feel like genius is almost an understatement. He's so he smart knows everything all the time because Dusex Machina. Dusex Machina. Machina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so Thrawn is just like a big smart guy. He's like yeah. Ender's Game. How big is smart. he? He's like six one, dude. Yeah, he's that like, big. He's blue and he's got like movie. glowing. He's a blue humanoid creature, man, I, with I glowing red drew eyes. Him. Will drew, drew him. That, oh. uh, that's him. That's an accurate. Can you see it on our audio yeah. podcast that he drew him next to Skeletor? Look, look he everybody. drew him. I'll hold it up to the mic. I don't envy you, you for not it. being able to yeah. see it because it's nah, amazing. Nailed it. There you go. Oh, so Thrawn. Thrawn is he's the big bad. Uh, we get a little insight into him. He appreciates art. He learns about a culture through their art. And he is very tactical, methodical, planning. He's a smart dude. He's a smart, smart baddie. And he wants to help the Empire rise mm-hmm. back to power because obviously the Emperor was defeated in the last movie and Vader's dead and their Death Star exploded. Aww. And they lost to a bunch of fucking so little many like, people died. The Empire's yeah. destined to be reborn. So mm-hmm. that's basically what Thrawn says. Then yeah. we jump ship to uh, what's the planet? Which one? The 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 main hub world where everybody meets up for the Republic. Uh, Coruscant. The Republic. Yeah, Coruscant. Coruscant. We jump to Coruscant. We're introduced to I know that one. Players. Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. Mm. We jump to Coruscant. We learn all about all the people that who we know and love. Han Solo, Leia. They're married. They. Uh, she's expecting twins. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leia's being trained in the Force. Mm-hmm. Luke is all like distant and like. Just like uh, angsty, yeah. He's real angsty for like a thirty-year-old man. Yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's got issues. Um, Chewbacca's there. He's yeah. hanging out, having fun. R two D two, C three PO, whole crew. Oh yeah, Admiral Akbar. Basically, this is five years after what yeah, happened. Yeah, five in the last years. Movie? Uh, yeah. So over the course of the last five years, uh. Leia and Han Solo banged. I believe it's ABY, right? Don't they use that abbreviation after the Battle of Yavin? Isn't that where, like, that, like, set, there's BBY and ABY that set the whole timeline for it's Star like, Wars it's universe? Like AD and... Yes, I know precisely that of which you speak. Oh, good. All right. Good. Go back up. It's Nailed fact. it. He seconded so, me. ABCD. Yep. Five. Uh, we're at Coruscant. 
They're married, expecting twins. Oh, Highway to Hell, I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Leia's, Leia's being, uh, uh, she's, she's being pregnant with uh, Force twins. She's being trained in yep. the Force. Luke's being all distant. Basically, everybody's dealing with political bullshit. Yeah. The Republic is uh, is trying to, like... It's not bullshit, it's intrigue. Yeah. yeah. Woo. They're trying to expand their yeah. reach out to the universe. Because you see, at the it's end of the last one, Mon Mothma, who's the woman who's kind of, like, being the leader of the New Republic and everything, right. and she's got Admiral Akbar, who's their military man, and then... Mm-hmm. What's his name? A- everybody got promoted. Boyce Cephalia? Boyce yeah. Cephalia. The guy who... The Admiral yeah. Akbar's uh, rival, so his, to speak. His, yeah. Antithesis. like, yeah. whatever. You don't really know why the fuck he hates is, him, yeah. but he just kind of does. Yeah. And that's a snake down. And you speak <laughs> smart. <laughs> you speak <laughs> parcel tongue with that. And, and right. that's a snake down. We already did that, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, anyway, Harry Potter. So we're introduced to them. Yep. And then uh, from that point, we basically, basically the rest of the book is we're following our heroes going on adventures against Thrawn. But we're introduced to many other characters. Yeah. Uh, first thing they do is they go and try to do a peacekeeping mission. Right? On. On. on uh, oh, shit. Place. Somewhere they do it on aw shit. Yeah, uh, they, <laughs> they go to aw shit. They go there's to aw. Here there's a bunch goes. Of little furry people. And then Coolio raps because yeah. it's the beginning of Keenan and Kel. And then they go to the market <laughs> in which they are attacked by are attacked a mysterious by... race Ooh, of what could they gray-skinned, be? large-eyed people. Huh? I believe they had uh, sharp teeth or some shit like that too. Yeah, they look like yeah. assholes. Yeah, they do. And they they're, they're wielding sticks. <laughs> they're wielding magic sticks. Stun and you got, sticks. You don't know what they. You don't fucking know that yet. I just yeah. said stun sticks. Okay, so now they know. <laughs> Are they stun <laughs> sticks or do they shoot they like wouldn't. web things at people? Don't they? Or? Well, they're like stun webs. They're stun. Yeah, they're, stu- like they're stun weapons. Okay. Also, Han Solo, Leia, and C three PO are split up in one group. And um, Luke, Luke is in another. Yeah, he's uh, in his own uh, his Tie own Fighter show, with R two and everything bullshit. like that. So they uh, obviously are attacked, mm-hmm. but they escape because they're our heroes and they have to. Uh, they get out of the whole ordeal, mm-hmm. and everybody's a little shaken because obviously somebody's after them. Somebody yes. wants to kidnap them. Somebody wants to get Leia. They're yeah. worried. Han's worried because it's his wife and his babies. Luke's worried because it's his sister and he kissed her once and that was weird. Oh yeah, uh, sister kissed. So her. everybody's a sister kissed there. her. We've all been there. Luke, Luke sister also now goes the rest. Yeah, he now goes the rest of the book by the name Sister Kister. Oh yeah, <laughs> that makes him that makes him awful red. He gets it emblazoned on his fucking Jedi jersey or whatever yeah. they fucking wear. It's <laughs> a letter of intent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it says Sister Kister and has number 69 on the back. And he's like, yeah. So now everybody goes off on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leia has to report back. Han Solo's like, I gotta go with my wife. I'm Harrison Ford. Luke goes back to Dagobah. 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 Yep. And he goes back to the spooky cave from the movie where he saw Vader. Mm-hmm. Spooky cave. Oh, yeah. And what does he find in the spooky cave? Uh, continuing a, spookiness. It's, it's a machine. Because what it? when you go, like well, it's the I think it's he called a box in there after. It's a cave under a tree. I think its technical name is the tree cave, which is a terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh. But yeah, it goes in there, and that kind of shows you stuff. Two that, geographical things. Tree cave yeah. nailed it. Tree cave. Doesn't that show like, you? Ah. Doesn't that show you stuff that could happen yeah. in the future, uh, as well as stuff that could uh, that has happened in the past like, and is happening? Yeah, it gives you like weird like hypotheticals in vision form. It's just like that ball think, from Lord of the Rings. It I shows you everything that Yoda happens. Telling you that you're happen. going to experience the future, and then you just go into a room where they just inject you with air that just makes you trip fucking balls. That's true. So, like, Dude, they are in a ex- swamp. There could so be like weird gas. There's that a lot of expectation there. could lead you to like see things that you think are the future. But in yeah. at this point in the book. Uh, Yoda's dead. Uh, Midichlorians. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Yoda's, Yoda's dead, and so he goes in there, and he sees a vision of a red-headed woman holding multiple lightsabers, and he's back at the Sarlacc pit, Fuck that fucking being a, like fucking prodded die. into it by Jabba and whatnot. Yeah. Yes. It's like, get in the pit. Rah, and when he rah, calls rah, for rah. his lightsaber, which R2 shoots, instead it disappears. Yeah. Because Mara's there, right? <laughs> Well, we or, don't know. You know who the fuck who's Mara there. is. We don't know who that is yet. So some woman, some redhead woman, as I just explained. Some redhead woman who totally doesn't remind me of my ex girlfriend. Who's yeah. clearly Mara now because fuck Tom. Uh, we're introduced to Mara. <laughs> <laughs> Mara and Card 
Card is like a real badass smuggler. Oh, because what? You, Luke's out in space and he gets trapped by one of the Super Star Destroyers. We're and not, we're not that sweet far Jedi. yet, Tom. That's when he gets introduced to Card and Ben Mara, though. <laughs> but we're introduced to them earlier we as are. characters. Yes. When? Come, okay, let's earlier let's in the book. Let me explain this part. All right. So like, will you after just will you happens, do it? Card is just chilling in his chamber, and then like Mara comes in and he's like. I'll be card. I'm chilling. No, I'm chilling. Oh, dude, you're you card. Look, Who you look, am I? You're chilling. I'm Mara. Oh, you're like, hot, bro. Mara, I, I have invited you to my chamber. So oh. Yeah! To me, uh, have, make sweet love. Yes, this kiss! But no! Perhaps I'm not. <laughs> you're not a character at all. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Why is Card a bitch? Why is Card? I'll do both characters. Why is Card from Transylvania all of a sudden? No, 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 it's not Transylvania. He's not like a vampire. He's a Puerto Rican bumblebee. All right. If you get that reference, listen, he's like, no matter, we must, we will, you will be my apprentice and we will travel the galaxy, ridding the stars of nasal congestion. Yeah. And so. Dude, I need that. So I got it when you said nasal congestion. I didn't get it before that, you but now get, I get it. Now you get it. All right. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's where you're introduced to Mara, and you, like he he takes her on like as an apprentice, kind of. Yeah. You don't know where she, she comes she from. She becomes yet. card yeah. number two. Then the Empire shows up because they need the Islamari. Yeah. Sorry, I laughed at number two. Yeah, you did. What'd you uh, call it? Islamari. The Islamari. Okay, I know that. The, which now. are which are force suppressing uh, aliens. Yes. And that is uh, a defense mechanism creatures. because yes. they are hunted in the wild See, by the Vorenskir who nobody needs to know. Which kind of look like big furry lizards, right? I always it's, called them Eid Salamiris because it sounds like right salamanders. Eid Salamanders. Yeah. You call them Eid Salamanders. The guy in it's the electronic audiobook salamanders. switches the pronunciation from Islamiri to Islamari back and forth. Uh, I did not know that. As opposed to Isla Sorna and Isla Nublar. But the singular. Which are <laughs> islands in Jurassic Park. No, the, <laughs> nice. Nice. I, are they really? I don't trust yeah. Tom. I was just looking but at me. Back like, check. Back the check. singular <laughs> form is Isla Fact. Mm -hmm. It's always Isla Mir. Isla Mir. All right. So what happens is Isla. the Empire shows up because they need those. That's when we're introduced to Card and Mara, basically. Uh, and Who's like, Mara? Mara is a red-headed woman who is his second in command. We She's just a said cunt. that. She's a fucking cunt. She hates everything and she hates everyone and she never tells you why it she Will doesn't like her as a character. Why doesn't she? Um, I want her to die. <laughs> I wanted to fucking die. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. Who knows? She won't. I want her to die, but we she won't. We don't know. I know. So <laughs> what happens is yes. the Empire shows up, led by Thrawn. Thrawn. Wanting these salamanders. Salamanders. To suppress forces. Force. Why is that? Well, we you find out. It. Well, we find out because they leave. Well, then. What do you mean they can suppress the forces? They suppress the midichlorians. It's, it's like a what bubble the... that I'm trying to get force. through the goddamn summary, Tom! What? Anyway, so he goes to the planet, and he meets. He's trying to meet with the guardian of the Emperor, Ooh. who is by the name of Joris Sabayoth. Nice. And the man they meet. I'm getting to this, Tom. I'm, I'm fucking. I know <laughs> Tom's this. just making I got a face. It now. Like he's sucking a huge dick. Oh, the that's man they meet. <laughs> They think is Joris Sabaoth, but ends up being Joruis Sabaoth, a clone boy, made of boy, Joris, boy, boy, boy. who killed what? the previous guardian of the Emperor. So now, <laughs> not claiming to be the guardian in himself, he just kind of inhabits the planet, ruling over it. Oh, should I have mocked the mic? He just kind of inhabits the planet, ruling <laughs> over everyone, and yeah. just being a dick about it. Yeah. And he's kind of obsessed with power. So fucking, uh... Pelion and Thrawn all come down there and they're like, yo, dog, we, um... I love that they called a... him dog in the yeah. book. That was so that classic was Thrawn. They made it very modern. That was so classic it was, Thrawn. It helps your modern interest with today's youth. He's so hood. I love it. <laughs> no, but, um... And he's like, yo, dog, we got this whole operation going on. You want to be a part of it? And he's like, I don't need anything that you can... I don't like how me. Thrawn became very urban yeah. and <laughs> yo, was like an old... Yo, like what his a dog. Voice fit. You want to do it? I yeah. don't need you. Thrawn is exhibit. Lighting. It's just an old wrinkly ball sack of a man. Yeah. Yo, dog, I heard you like a force. We put the force in your force. You can force while you force. We got yeah. these salamanders. Ah, uh, powers. Lightning. And he's like... Bubble. He's like, you can't fucking harm me. You don't know what Bubble is. And this fucking video game is shit. He's like, lightning. And he's like, Bubble. He doesn't explain it either, does he? He's just like, no. how'd you he's do just, this? I don't know. The, Join my side and I'll sorcery? tell you. <laughs> Join my side, I'll tell you, bro. <laughs> he's, so like, he's like, I will tell you how A, dog, I stopped you and your dumb lightning. And B, I'll get you more power and more Jedis. He's like, 
Ballers. So he so he goes. He joins Thrawn. Yeah. Yes, something like that. There you go. I'm just yes. trying to summarize. We got a lot of book left. <laughs> yeah, we do. So there is a lot left. I let you finish. <laughs> All right. Continue. Thank you, Joris. Right. Jerus, you fuck! Oh. oh! Take a drink. Oh, <laughs> Take a drink every time you pronounce going. someone's name wrong? Oh, I guess. <laughs> cool. tastes, that one tastes like soap, kind of. You don't like it, Tom? This does not taste like cherries. It no, like cherries, it fucking man. lies. <laughs> I like it. Tristan lied to you deliberately. No, I didn't. I like it. <laughs> I'll like, trade you. You want my like Blackberry and you're going to have the cherry thing? Tristan I thought lied we were to using you the B-word. deliberately to get Blackberry? you a fucking drink. It's that. block. It could be blockberry. We don't know. Do you want my African American berry? And be, I'll take your cherry. I'm just saying it could be blockberry. <laughs> could, do you want to trade? Is my wow. fucking question. I have a summary to get. Tradesy. To. What is this? Wait. Elementary school lunchroom. Yeah, I don't trade these. All right, is. fine. Anyway, we're back. Blockberry. All right. So Luke is like, damn, I saw this redhead. Who's she? And we're like, damn, that redhead's probably Mara because she was fucking introduced. And cards cool, and the bad guys are like, "We got a dark Jedi." Blue blip 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 blue, blue blap. All right, so let's go back to Han Solo. What does Han Solo do? I don't remember. He, he hangs Leia. out with his wife. Oh, nailed it! Nailed it! Nailed it! They made twins. So did he. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I he's, get it. He's hanging out with his wife, right? He's like, "Yo, girl, I don't know what we're gonna do. Where are we gonna go with this?" And she's like, "I really miss Lando. Let's go visit Lando." <laughs> Yeah. And then he's like, that's a good <laughs> fucking happens. Yeah, it is. And it's like, that's a good is, plan. Is that when they're looking for a place to hide after the first attempt to steal them? Yes. They're like, shit, let's just find someone we can uh, trust. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. No, they go to Lando for information. That's what it was. Is that what it was? Well, they go to, to Lando. To try to find out, like, who the fuck was attacking Oh, yeah, them. do you have a good splicer thing or whatever yeah, so we can splicer. use yeah, you he, for So uh, he could hide. Codes. So he could hide yeah. uh, Leia. And What's the, a splicer? Why are they looking it, for he's one? He's basically a super hacker. Yeah, he's a hacker. Sweet. Yeah, he could just, like, you know, hack. So that's what hackers do. They yeah, hack. They hack. he wears a mask. He went to a ball and he abused drugs. That's what hackers do. That's I could be mixing up my uh, lore. No, that's correct. <laughs> that's the Phantom of the Opera. Will, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's not quite, but anyway, it's the same. So thing. they they decide to go visit their old pal Lando over at his uh, mining planet that he now owns. Uh, mm-hmm. Which I don't remember. It's just an investment he's doing because yeah, he wants fucking, the gas. He's, got, he's got his pen in all the inks. Oh basically. yeah, yeah, many yeah, many pockets. Yeah, so many ink have been pockets dipped in ink. So he go. So they go there and they're like, "Who's this spaceship?" And the spaceship's like, "Who's that spaceship?" And we're as readers, we're oh like, "Oh my god, we know who these assholes are." It's just Luke and Han, but they have a standoff for like ten goddamn. Pages. This is my favorite part of the whole book. Really, I saved the page. Are you serious? <gasps> yeah, they're all like, "Well, Luke's like, it's them." But Han and Leia are like, you know, Leia's like, I- I'm sure it's him. And Han's like, I don't know if I can trust that sweetheart just by a thought. So all of a sudden she's like, hey, <laughs> hey, by the way, we have someone who wants to talk to you. And then R2's, as it's described, or uh, uh, C-3PO's prissy voice as it goes up. <laughs> R2, are you there? And then C- <laughs> R2, R2 there? keeps like mouthing back in beeps that apparently sound like electric snorts. And they just bit her like an old married couple. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I swear to God. Of course I don't come to see you. Of course I didn't know you were alive still. This book, I swear to God, their relationship. R2 is so fucking profane in this book. He is. Like, he always comes across as, like, just a swearing up a storm. Yeah, just beeping up a storm. R2, R2, is is that you in the other room? He's like, about fucking time, motherfucker. I've been sitting here strapped to this goddamn chain. I don't think think anybody else got that from this book, Will. I think that's just you. I heard an electronic Dude. snort. You're an electronic motherfucker, yeah, apparently. R2 I... is fucking hood as fuck. You don't yeah. even know. Dude, everybody that you're portraying is hood as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Admiral Thrawn, I we got, like we got, G. We got evil bad guy exhibit, and then, like, really angry robot DMX so far, yeah. as, as according to Will. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. just like, R2, are you there? <laughs> Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? Beep boop! Beep boop dogs! <laughs> That's pretty much it. Beep with me if you're my robot! <laughs> <laughs> so, three has changed in the past five so years. Then R2 because D2, they sorry. don't have slave units, they have to drive for fucking like twelve hours to be shielded by the sun to get on this fucking planet. Yeah. It's so hot. I what we were talking about. We're at, they're meeting Lando now. Right. Yeah. So they meet Lando, and they're like, important? hey, Lando. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. No, I mean, but meeting Lando is important. But... Because something's about to happen. Because, yeah, they meet Lando, and they're like, hey, Lando, the, nice digs. Can you help us find a splash? Oh, is that the Empire stealing all of your ships? Oh, Boom. no! 
Thrawn's here. Then what? Thrawn's Shit, there, and he doesn't notice that, like, basically the Jedi's he's supposed to find for Joris is th- are there. Um, he just Jeruis. Jeruis, basically Jeruis. the Jedi's that he's supposed to find for Jeruis are not there, <laughs> and he's Scottish, and. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they just steal a bunch of fucking mining ships. <laughs> yeah. The mole miners. Yeah, mole, mole miners. miners. They steal a bunch of mole miners for a secret plan that we don't know about. Ooh, what kind I know of about it. I read the book. But real quick, I think it's important to note that they never actually mentioned the shape of the mole miners at this point in the book, but yep. they were specifically referred to them as, like, cylinder or what was it, cone shaped ships? Cone shaped ships with like shaped drills ships. at the front end. Yes. Well, no, no, they're not actually drills. It's like a big parachute thing, and then it fires a big ass fucking laser into the ground. Oh, I was picturing something from the movie Armageddon. I had to look like it up. Like that, that kind of shit. I had to look it up on the wiki to actually understand what the fuck they were talking about. Oh, I What'd you Google? Yeah, I didn't look that up. What? Oh, it's Wikipedia, but I just. What'd ta- you wikis? I, I just. <laughs> every time I, every time oh, I didn't know the name minor. of something, I would just go to Google and I type Star Wars space, and then the thing I want to look at. Nip Slip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I looked up Bip Fash, and it comes up with Nip Slip. And we're like. Yeah, this is Bit okay. Bash. Bit Bash was the name of the first planet. There you go. There you go. Yeah, That's where yeah, they yeah. went. That's where they went. They were attacking the, the planet with the market where Luke yeah. Skywalker jerks off and jerk jumps out a window and kills himself. Yeah, I found, yeah that didn't happen. No, I, <laughs> I found a picture no, of a mole hey, miner. Watch, watch. I'll this is what it looks like. Oh, okay. is this what you were in, was yes. looking? All right, nailed it. Here, listen, listen. No, it's listen. a mole with a mining hat on. I have an excerpt here from the book in which Luke Skywalker jerks off and kills himself. That's never happened. Setting for the narrowest spray at the highest pressure, he braced himself against the side of the window, aimed for the marketplace's partial dome covering, and fired. The <laughs> stick kicked harder than he'd expected to as the spray shot out, but the results were all he could have hoped for. The front end of the Arctic General struck the roof, forming a leisurely sort of pile as more of the semi-solid spray pushed forward to join it. Luke held the switch down for a count of five, then eased up, keeping a firm force grip on the end to prevent it from falling away. <laughs> He gave it a few. S- no, listen. Oh, he gave gosh. it a few seconds to harden before touching it tentatively <laughs> with a finger. <laughs> Is that really in the book? Then taking a deep breath, Are you he grabbed it with I both yeah, hands. I feel like- then taking a deep breath, he grabbed it with both hands and jumped. That is in the book. <laughs> well, he doesn't die. No, he jerked off, took his dick in his hand, jumped out the window. That's clearly what happened. I'll oh, agree with that. Yeah. I'll put that. That's canon. That is clearly what that's, happened. That's canon. <laughs> and then they're like, they're like, Luke, how'd you escape all the assassins? He's like, oh, I just jerked off a yeah. bunch. And then it was like, whatever, force jerk. And then he inexplicably has the force and sees Leia. So he's like, shit, I need to be alive again. So that's how they continue that. <laughs> what Continuity. Is it? Wisdom wank. You always have your clearest Wisdom thoughts wank. right afterwards. He sees, he sees later right afterwards. It's, it's a force. <laughs> it's a, wait, 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 wait. It's a force wank. Yeah, it's a force yeah, wank. There you go. There you go. So, all right, what were we talking about? They took the mole miners. Mole miners. All right. <laughs> and now Lando is like, Piss. I guess I'll hang out with you guys because I'm pissed, lol. So they hang out with Lando now. Now they split up again mm-hmm. after just meeting. Dummies. Uh, Luke goes to do some dumb bullshit and gets attacked by in uh, the Empire. And his uh, to escape, he escaped the tractor beam. He activates super That's thrusters. That's right. He goes to hyperdrive without yeah. like properly With, warming yeah. everything. Oh up yeah, some shit. because he gets false information or information that Sabath is on this planet, which is kind of yeah. a trap. He's gonna wait for Luke, but the because uh, he was Thrawn cause sits while in the, the mole miners were getting stolen. He heard a voice yeah. about, and it was the it was obviously uh, yeah, him saying uh, it was the bad bad Jedi. Jo- oh yeah, Jorus. Yeah, yeah. He's just like he's just like I'm a Jedi. I'm gonna get job. Yeah. St- I'm a Jedi. Yeah. And Luke's like more Jedi. Spot. He's like, there's another one. No, oh. I'm gonna see him. So he has to find him, and then yeah. he goes, and the Empire gets him an attractor beam. Yeah. He escapes by using super turbo, but then fucks his ship up. Yeah. So uh, uh, a bounty is up. placed on his head. In that quadrant. I like how he does his, like, Jedi hibernation. Apparently, yeah. he can just last for, like, weeks and weeks. Yeah, he's, oh, like, yeah. hibernating. He takes, like, real, slows his metabolism. Yeah. Sure. Real intense nap. R2, do work for the next uh, couple days. I'm just yeah. going to take a nap. Laters. Yeah. Deuces. And then he goes in his sleep chamber. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making the fucking hook characters. <laughs> I've said deuces, like, four times already. <laughs> so, and, and then Luke Skywalker, what rapper is he now? He's ludicrous. He's <laughs> ludicrous. He's Luda. like, Luda. He's like He's like, back that ass up into sleep mode. Mm. And he does it. And he does it. He does it. Uh, meanwhile, it is decided that they it will hide decided. Leia on Kashyyyk. 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 They'll hide her there with the Wookiees because Chewbacca's like, dude, it'll totally be fine. <laughs> and there's this 
one of my favorite parts in the book. Here we go. All right, right well, go ahead. All right, so upon arriving, they meet the, like, ambassador guy for the well, planet. Well, right, be- right before that, right before that. And because she goes she goes there and they're hiding her, uh, meanwhile, Han Solo, Lando, and C-3PO. That's right. They, they take off to and try they and... they reprogram C-3PO to have Leia's voice. Right, to trick... To trick uh, the just throwing the, off anybody who's listening. Yeah, to the their rebel signals. forces and uh, whoever's listening in. Right, because they're also trying to like stay out from Coruscant and shit too. Right, they're trying to stay hidden yeah. because now that Leia is trying to be kidnapped, they want to keep a low profile. And everything. Yeah, so they're off doing that. Leia is now at Wookiee Planet and go. Take Leia the takes off with Chewie. Only Chewie taking one of Lando's ships, and yeah. the, after they leave the planet. They go to um, Kashyyyk, mm-hmm. which is the Wookiee homeworld. And there they meet the representative, Ral Rachin, Yep, who has the funniest fucking voice. Now, now See, I, don't know I this. listened to the audiobook. What is it? Hang on. Find, I want Tom, find a quick place I, I where could, he's talking I'm, in I'm there. I'm amazingly fast at yeah. things. We'll in. read it. We'll okay, gladly do it. In the audiobook. The audiobook. <laughs> I, too, listened to the audiobook first. Primarily, I read some of the parts. Oh my God. I listened to a lot of the audiobook, and these parts were almost unbearable it's like, for me. Eh, welcome, Leia, to yeah. our planet. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you must have some sort of speech impediment. Is that right? He's like, no. <laughs> and she's like, no, no, wait, no. She's like, Chewie oh. must have a speech impediment. Yeah, she says, she says, she says Chewbacca must have a speech impediment. Because she can understand this guy. And, and he's like, is, no. Yeah. Here it is. It starts is at the top. Part, the tall Wookiee bowed, and then he starts talking in brackets there. It is I who has the <gasps> speech impediment. Yeah, it's just normal fucking language in the book. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, so the audiobook guy just throws a bunch of top, goddamn top growls of the page, in there. Yeah. Reason. Yeah. What a motherfucker. Yeah. I it's despise exactly that guy. Oh, and he that just walked asshole. in the door. Don't even bring it up. Don't even bring it up. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, the, the whole time is like the one thing I'm thinking is like, wait, 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 yeah, all right. So, so all I, this time, yeah, I thought it was Chewie, a great time. All right, yeah, all this so, time, Chewie has been speaking their same language. Yeah, oh, and he fuck. and the one guy who actually speaks English that you can understand has a speech impediment. Yeah, and oh, so wait, book. so it says uh, it says here in the book, I to you. Leah Garn. Wait, wait, I can't uh, understand it. Solo you gotta say it as a Wookiee. I can't. And then as, and then as, yeah. There it is. I understand that. Yeah. I to you. There it is. Leah Garn Solo. Bring angry. Change. Fuck that guy. Nail it. Fuck that guy. What was his name? Ral Rashi. Asshole. Ral Rashi. Or they just call him Ral Ra. Ral Ra. Yeah, Ral Ra. Ral Ra's Wookiee speech was perfectly understandable. Except by perfectly understandable, the audiobook guy decided that he would just roar nope. 1,700 goddamn yeah. times. In the book, I read it perfectly time. fine. Yeah, yeah. you're just like, all right, I'll use yeah. my English vocabulary yeah. and nail it. He so was anyway, like, I to you, Le Organisalo, yeah. bring greetings. <laughs> so anyway, Everybody see 3 po to you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> read their voice. While they're there, um, they totally try to hide Leia up. And is anything that happened before they get attacked in the middle of the night? Uh, we, we, we oh, shoot he between sees cars, something we shoot in the between window. the other people. Okay, should we, yeah. should so, we talk about that first? No, nah, it's fine. One setting? Nah, it's fine. All right, let's do the one. So while she's there... Yeah, because um, she sees one in the window, she thinks. Yeah, she's like, they I checked saw all the city, can't find anything. They're like, <laughs> bitch, you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, verbatim. Cause, well, verbatim. Yeah, verbatim. What's your boy, exactly. what's your boy <laughs> with the speech impediment's name? Ra-ra. Ra-ra. Right Ra-ra. in the beginning, he's like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm... I'm protecting you on my life. And to, to Wookiees, that's like, well, what's it called? Like a life debt or whatever, whatever. I don't know. Protection. They take that like super seriously. Yeah, yeah, so he'll like die know. before she gets hurt. So that's his important. main priority now. It's important to their culture. You yeah. Yeah. Understand their culture. yeah. So anyway, so she's locked in. Wookiee code. Wookiee code. Yeah. So, and she's totally staying the night. She only gets attacked in the middle of the night by a bunch of those fuckers with the gray skin. And she's like, oh, oh shit, dog. Fuckers up in the hat ring <laughs> right now. <laughs> and so it's like she's like looking and running yeah, and dodging. She's looking and, and running the one and guy's dodging. like, I'm going to get you. And he grabs her and he's like, I know who you are. And he lets go. And he freezes. And he's like, what the fuck uh, happened? Man. And then Ralph runs you. He burns the door. And they're like, get the fuck down. And then, what do they do? <laughs> Don't they like tackle him and grab his neck? She's like, wait. Yeah. Can we talk about this part real quick? Because yeah. uh, when I initially heard this part and he froze, yeah. like he, he went to grab Leia and then he, and then like stopped and well, then just froze. It, if I remember correctly, he grabs her and then he smells her and yeah. that's when he freezes. And then and then he like backs yeah. up and freezes at the edge of the hut. And he just 
Damn, now, when this crazy. happened, what did you guys think? Um. Oh, like what I did I thought, actually think was happening? Yeah, I thought he was some sort of like robot or something. Uh, and at I that thought, point, he had like some glitch like had happened to cause up. him to shut down. All right. I thought he had heard all the other Wookies coming to protect her and was and like, getting ready scared? to run away. Yeah. I thought that her babies, her twins in her stomach, were doing force powers. Oh shit! Oh. I thought I That's thought they crazy. were like, no, they're gonna hit my mom, boom, and they like forced him away. <laughs> this isn't GBZ Battle of the Gods. Yeah. Babies don't have superpowers. I was like really stoked. I was Fetuses. like. Damn, Force Baby's, like, really making a fucking appearance now, aren't they? And then, she, and then what happens Force is babies. Nogri is just like, right. no. He's like, I know who you are. Yeah, it turns out that she is the daughter of Darth Vader, as we know from the movies. And Darth Vader, like, led the Nogri. Yeah. And they he, trust him. Apparently, Darth Vader saved the Nogri mm -hmm. from, like, a verge of extinction. Yeah, and the gave planet them a was going to get destroyed and, like, or a job something. and everything. They, yeah. They like call a, her the Malari Ush or yeah, something like Malari that. Malari Ush. Yeah, Malari Ush. Like that. I think that's it. Which is the daughter of the Savior. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. In so, their language. So he's once like, they realized who she was, they automatically, like... We're like, we're not going to fucking kill you. This is yeah. stupid. Like, and she's like, well, because she works for the Republic and not the Empire, obviously. Uh, wow. She's like, she's like, well, we'll, you know, get you guys in our umbrella of cool guys and we'll all be cool. He's like, I can't sell out my people. Yeah. Because what if you fuck us up? And yeah. she's like, I thought I was my oosh yeah. or whatever, yeah. dummy. And then he's just like, ah, fuck, I guess we'll set up a meeting. Yeah. Which will probably happen in another book. Yeah, this I is imagine. a three-part yeah. series. It's a trilogy. Uh, so she's supposed to meet up with him to create like a treaty at some point in the future. So that's what Leia does. Right. right. And that's a pretty she, she does it. Yeah. She does it to the point where she's like, oh, yeah, we'll meet and I'll come alone. Yeah. And Which nobody's yeah. going to like. Mm. Yeah. Which she agrees. And I was just alone. reading the no gree, the no gree sense yeah. of smell is so powerful. It can smell one's bloodline. Yes. That, Which that, is that, how he, she exactly. knows. I remember that mm. specifically. What kind of smell is that? <laughs> that's intense. Even, Fishy. Yeah. Giant nostrils. He <laughs> has intense. in the fucking pictures. Oh, yeah. Those are some nostrils there. <laughs> Check it out. I'm holding it in front of the mic. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So you can see it. They, uh, they enjoyed there it. There you go. Don't worry, guys. Next one might be video, maybe. 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 Oh, here. Ah! Uh, I'm fucking up everything. Nobody. Because you're drunk knows. and high. Shut up. Nah. Nobody used to know I'm high. I really like that you drew uh, Skeletor over here. <laughs> no, that's the that's the I know. I know. It's that's, the is that rude? And there's Thrawn but he next looks to like, him. I know. It looks like Skeletor. <laughs> no, that's the assassin guy. Oh, uh, okay. And then there's Luke. Who's that guy? That's Luke. That's Luke? That's Luke. Because that's your picture. That's your avatar in our... Yeah, it is. <laughs> and, and I was like, what the fuck is that weird guy? <laughs> it's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> He's got a weird butt chin. <laughs> that's Will's avatar in our WhatsApp <laughs> conversation. It's really it's that weird. And you <laughs> In the background is Jacob's giant face. Yep. Oh, oh beautiful. My gosh. So we're done with we're done with Leia pretty much the entire book. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's what I think she that's everything. Uh, we meet up. Who should we cover next? Well, let's go back to Luke. Uh, right. He escaped the hyperdrive and he's picked up by a ship. The yeah. ship uh, belongs to Card and Mara. Yeah. Uh, his yes, second their, um, their freighter ship yep, or whatever. Their freighter ship. They pick him up and there's obviously a bounty out for his head at this point. It's some kind of pun with gambling. I don't remember yeah. the name. Yeah. Um, Everything with him is a pun. Yeah, it's like a Lady Luck or some. Yeah, I think it is like Lady that. Luck actually. Yeah. Oh. So nice. Everything Card owns is a pun with gambling. By the mm -hmm. way. Even his name. Even the names of the dogs are puns on gambling. Yep. yep. Oh. I noticed. Uh, I noticed a few of those. What are his dog? His dogs? I don't remember the dogs. He's not dogs. Wait, he's, uh, oh yeah, he's, those things that live in the woods yeah. on yeah. this planet. It's it like now. fucking cat okay. monsters. Okay. So no, he picks them up and he brings them back to his base, which is on what planet? Uh, Merker. 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 All right. And uh, what happens that, there? That's the planet that the Isilamir, the lizard things, are coming come from. By the way, yeah. Did we yeah. explain that he already came to Card and got the yeah. Isilamir yeah. first? Wait, right. I, that's yeah. that's how he met the Empire. That's how he met Thrawn and Pelion, uh, because he gave them. Oh yeah, that's right. That was he the first traded place. them the Isilamir, or uh, wait, he traded uh, them. For uh, him? He trade he he taught them how to get. Get the, them without them dying. Get them without yeah. them dying. Because they have to stay oh, attached okay. to Just tree as a, and a stuff. show of goodwill, but really yeah. to like he just wanted information. try and figure out yeah. why they were doing yeah, it. Yeah, he trade information. Fuck with them. Yeah. yeah. Card, okay, Talon Card is fucking genius. Like, here you go. Will's going to suck his dick for the next three minutes. All right, so all right here, let's get the summary out of the way. Let's, <laughs> let's get the rest of the summary out of the way first. And then we can go on to the opinions. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a lot of summary left, and we're yeah. Uh, yeah. 36 minutes deep. All right. So what happens is. God, they go grab one real yeah. quick. I'll is there another one? So oh, the he's on the. Uh, There's a normal. Steel he's on the base. Uh, Mara's like, let's train to the Empire. We'll be on their good yeah. side. And he's be like, wait, let's just kind of not pick a side yet. Because it is explained 
throughout the book yeah. that Mara Jade hates the fuck yeah. out of Luke. We don't know why, but she hates him. We don't, don't really know why. Him. Card doesn't know why, and he wants to know, but she fucking, like, despises fucking him. Fucking cunt. <laughs> she is her. real mad. Had to come in, had to come back just for that. There you go, motherfucker. So God. they they get Luke, and then Card, being the person that he is, he's deciding on what to do with him. There's so many options at this point. Like, yep. does he give him to the Empire and gain favor? Does he get? Does he save him for the rebels because they seem like they're gonna win the yeah. war? Does he just kind of like get rid of him and like murder him so nobody knows he had him? Yeah. Like he's trying to weigh all of his options. Yeah. And what ends up happening is. Uh, he is holding him in a holding cell. Mara just wants to like murder him or get rid of him, give him to the Empire. Either way, she just wants him out of here or dead. She is not happy with that. I'm not fucking having this. Yeah, nailed it. She's like a valley girl, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh my uh, god. Han Solo and Lando, mm-hmm. meanwhile, went to another planet and they were trying to find Card to get an expert uh, splicer. Yeah. Uh, slicer. I'm sorry. To get an extra expert slicer. And they hear that Card has like he's got his finger on the pulse. He yeah. knows he knows who he's the he new big boss ever since yeah. Jabba died. So like they need to get to him. Well, Card is an information broker, right? So he just has all of the connections. He knows, yeah, he has connections. Like he that's knows his job. So if they need an expert slicer. They need to get to Card. So they find they have a little run in. It's not really important, but they basically find a dude who works for Card right. and will bring them to Card. So now. This is important, though. All right. They end up at Card's stronghold while oh he has God. Luke held what prisoner. Are the, what are the odds? Right? It's so incredible. weird. Bong. It's almost as if this has been formulated by a person writing the exactly. whole fucking thing. It's a whole galaxy, and they end up in the same place as their like, best pal. Come on. Yeah. Come so on. Luke is being <laughs> held prisoner, and they're meeting with Card trying to find a slicer to help Leia tap into information but still be hidden. So what ends up happening is, also at the same time, yeah. the Empire's like, hey, Card. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Who was no. Thrawn? He was hang Exhibit? On, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. She's like, excuse me, Thrawn. I would like a word with you. And it's regarding the uh, Isla Miri, I would like Who's some that? more of them. Who's is that, Card? Sean Connery? That's supposed to be Admiral Thrawn. That's Sean Connery. So Sean Connery shows up. <laughs> And he's talking to Antonio and Banderas he's like, now. Do you remember League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? I was in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Solid movie. <laughs> Nailed it. So Thrawn shows up. Like, oh my god, that movie fucking sucks. Oh, get out of here, Mara. Get out of here, Mara right. Jade. <laughs> um, so the Empire shows up. So now Card has everybody at his like in his and home. And he's sitting yeah. there like, oh the fuck. I yeah. should probably do something. <laughs> because he's the nasal bee. And he's like trying to like decide what he's gonna do. Real I get quick. it. So I get it. Now. All right, all right. <laughs> the I, get it now. I just got it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. Uh. Anyway, so what happens is they decide that Tana! they'll get they yeah. will take um Luke into the woods. Uh. Oh wait, no, they don't decide that. Luke escapes. Yeah, Luke fucking he breaks out because they yeah. move him when. Okay, when Han Solo shows up, they move him into a storage shed. Yeah, and they think they have all of their bases covered, but no, they forget he has robot arms. Yeah, he has a fucking robot arm. Even Luke forgets he has a robot arm. Like that was the stupidest fucking thing. All right, the way Luke ends up escaping from this fucking room is that he like hardwires his robotic yep. arm. Yeah, he has a backup supply, battery, yeah. right? So he uses into the backup into the door. So that, because, like, Mara blasts the fucking door to destroy it, so, like, it won't open anymore. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Luke fucking hardwires his own power supply from his arm into the door to get it to open. To get his ass like, out of there. Yeah. He, the, he's sitting there for, like, at least 20 minutes just going, yeah. looking at his hand, like, I wonder if there's something 100%, here. 100%. I thought the same thing. I thought, the same thing. The, I thought the same thing. It was like, Luke sat there and he thought. Then he looked at his hand. Then he looked at the wall. Then he looked at his like, robot hand with power cells. A, then he looked at the power wall again. Power hand, hand, robot, <laughs> hand, hand. Robots, power cells. How do I get out, he thought to himself. Also, I miss R2-D2. Oh, R2. That was like... That was so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Because couldn't he hear R2 through the wall? Yeah. Like R2 is like bleep, yeah. bleeping and like... He hears him when he tries to unscrew in like, the... In like his... Because Luke's first idea is he sees like an electrical outlet. Excuse me. Yeah. Behind these boxes. And so he tries to use a little shard from the box that was broken 
to unscrew it, and yeah. so he gets there and just send um, it. But the, but the, it's not long enough. As to he's reach trying the to pull the no. cords and shit, he like he realizes there's not enough power, and then he hears R two on the other side, and so yeah. Anyway, yeah. so I have to use his arm, and he fucking escapes. And he gets out, and then he just steals a speeder. Yeah, and then he just well, he rescues cruises. R two obviously, who's in yeah, the next right, room. Right, right. So, so they just cruise in the woods, and then Card finds out, and Card's trying to entertain Han Solo. And uh, right, and Lando Han doesn't, still doesn't know. Doesn't, at this yeah, point. he doesn't know. And then he's just like, "Oh, he's like, I need to go answer to a certain something that requires my attention. Excuse me, one second. So he goes, he goes away. He sends Mara J to get him. Yeah. And well, then, no, he doesn't. No, send no, no, Mara he Jade. doesn't. She Mara is just yeah. like out walking or something. She's just an off. asshole. She's just an asshole. And then Mara she goes is just and really does her shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, so she sees Luke fucking escaping with the thing, and so she jumps in another one of the ships, and she right. chases him. And she chases him. And then and she fucking then ends up Card, shooting him down. Card finds out, Card finds out, and he's like, oh, no. Doesn't Thrawn call it, too? He's like, hey, what's going on? I saw well, this chase going that's, on. That, that's in a little bit, because yeah. he hasn't shown up at this point while they're oh, chasing each other. So they're chasing each other. Thrawn shows up. Thrawn's like, hey, uh, we need more uh, of these fucking, like, salamander things for the trees. Yeah. Also, what is all this shit going on? Because yeah. I'm super He's smart like, and I know everything. He's just a little problem. And he's I'm like, taking care Card's of like, oh, no big deal. Then Card, oh, no big deal. Yeah. He becomes Mexican. Yeah. And then he accidentally lets information go slightly that he has found. He he implies that the search for Luke is over. Yeah. Which Thrawn has put out the search for Luke. So he's so Thrawn. So Thrawn being goes, a fucking tactical badass. Yeah. He's like, well, we'll just help you with the yeah. search. Yeah. He's like, we'll help you with the search because he suspects that he has Luke. Yeah. Uh, and that he the escape everything. was Luke because he's the best, I guess. And so, but he does not know that Lando is there though, because no. he hides Lando. Yeah. You don't know Lando or Han is there. Yeah, right. he hides them. Yeah. They're still in the cafeteria, aren't they? They're just like eating dindins or yeah. whatever. Yeah, like, ooh, we gotta push this somewhere else. Yeah. And that's when the other guy, the the slicer guy, happens to leak that they yep. were keeping the other prisoner. Yep, he was just like, we had a prisoner, and then Han's like, oh, we had a prisoner, let's go search it. So then we have to spend a few chapters following Mara Jade and Luke, because they crashed and exploded. Right, Mara, Mara ends up blowing up Luke's uh, fucking ship. Speeder bike, and then, yeah. like, the, the, what was it, the exhaust or some shit? Something yeah, she was something too back close, so it clipped her Yeah, it something, like, too close. Too. Something causes her ship to crash, too. So, so it's, it's them and R2, and they're and, just in the and forest. And they have to yeah. get out of the forest. Which is, like, it's supposed to be a sense of danger, but whatever. They're in the forest. They're going to make it out. They're main characters. Yeah. They fight some bad guys because it's cool. I think the main part of this part of the story is that was just to reveal some of Mara's backstory. And not only that, that Mara actually starts to like warm up a little bit more towards Luke because she sees that like, oh, he's more than just like this fucking murderer guy. Like, there's something complex about him. More than my preconceived notions. At at this point, he reacts to danger and shit. We learn at this point that Mara was a right hand to the Emperor, and she was there on Jabba the Hutt's ship. Uh, as a dancer, which was undercover. Uh, basically, she just did the dirty deeds for the Emperor. Yeah. Right. right hand But he's woman. dead now because of Luke, and that's why she's pissed. Yeah. Which is well, a big reveal. She thinks it's straight up because of Luke, but, yeah. I mean... It, there's a lot of things yeah. happen. <laughs> Technically, Vader... Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of... Mm, she's a bitch. But yeah. she can't blame Vader because he's dead, too. Yeah. Right. So, she's taking all of her aggression on him, but now they have to work together to get out of the woods, and that's when they start warming up slightly, right. but... Whatever. Luke doesn't give a shit because he doesn't... He's just like, yeah, she's a girl and all humans are sacred and I'm a good guy. Yeah. And she's like, fuck you, man. I'll fucking... I'm not fucking dealing with that shit. Yeah. So... You don't know who I am. They try to get out of the woods. Meanwhile, Thrawn is like, whoever was on those ships is going to try to get to this village. Put a bunch of stormtroopers there. We're going to get him. It was probably Luke Skywalker, by the way. And Pelion's like, oh... (laughs) <laughs> oh, 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 Captain, I had never even anticipated such yeah, a thing. I never anticipated that. And he's <laughs> just like, well, <laughs> I'm tisk, smarter tisk, than you. Captain. I'm a grand admiral. Grand for good reason. And Han Solo and Lando just go exploring. And due to the uh, explanation from the slicer and also just like general hunches, they figure out that, oh, Luke was here, lol. Yeah. Oh, what? They, they find the little thing like, ugh. Lando yeah. picks it up. Do you recognize this symbol yeah, on like, this broken Do you battery? Remember this? And then Lando's That's like, robot that was the thing that he had from the cave. Also, this looks like the robot hand that he has. Yeah. Robot hand. And Carl's yeah. like, oh, shit. This is <laughs> bad. Yeah. yeah. You have learned too much. So Lando's so good with symbols. Instead of like murdering them or anything, he's just like, I guess we'll work together now because you know a lot. Yep. 
Then Mara and Luke end up in town, and they get broken out of that, uh, broken out of the stormtroopers' grasp by Han Solo and just a bunch of like happenstance. Because yeah. yeah. originally, as they're going in, they're like, "Oh shit!" Well, they can't know who's who, so yep. they go and they switch identities and they yeah, rub poison ivy plan. all over Luke's face so he so doesn't he look like Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Shit. So they try to like fool him into yeah. their the different versions yeah. of one another. Like he handcuffs her. Oh, now yeah. she's and the prisoner. And then the stormtroopers like, "Oh, lol, what's happening?" Then they escape. Whatever. It's not that important. It really isn't. They get out. This this yeah. whole section was just to explain some of Mara's backstory, and like it created a lot of tension. It created bit. tension, yeah. but there's like there's so many points, and we'll get into this a little bit later. Right. There's so many points in this book where they try to create this tension in these battle scenes, but you know. That like yeah, Luke and them are gonna you escape. You know what's gonna happen in the end. You know, and you also know this is a trilogy, so yeah. like it's there's not that much tension, and there was a lot of these sections. So you're saying in '91 when this first came out, it would have been a little better because you didn't know it was a trilogy right. and whatnot. Like if I didn't know that yeah, there were two more books that followed this that clearly follow the exploits of Han Solo and Luke yeah. Skywalker, whatever. We'll finish the summer real quick, then we'll talk about that. All right. So then they escape. Then they hang out and they talk to Carl a little bit. Whatever, bullshit, who cares? Then they go on an adventure. And the whole thing that Thrawn has been planning up to this point was an attack on... Um, Slewis uh, Van. Slewis Shipyard. Slewis Van. Nice a one, big shipyard. Yeah, a big shipyard. They had a big plan. Then we're introduced to Wedge again, who showed up for a second earlier yeah, in the book. The Rogue, the rogue Squadron. Yeah, is Rogue Squadron's the there. They're supposed to protect ship. Whatever. Slewis Van battle happens. Uh, this was... Why he stole the mole miners. This is why he was doing what he was doing. Yeah. The whole idea was he was going to use the mole miners to mine into the hulls of the major ships that the resistance... What is it? The rebels. The rebels, yeah. sorry. The New Republic. That, that the, New yeah, Repub- New Republic that, the New Republic's main ships so that they could board them and take over the ships and then yeah. steal them for yep. themselves. And uh, the, the reason they got Joe Ruiz was uh, because... Having a Jedi, a Sith Jedi, could make just everything work so much smoother. Yeah, yeah. it allows people to like sync their like minds together. Yeah, so and, he like, could control he can control his bullshit fucking uh, like stormtroopers and his pilots right. that much easier. Yes, yeah. and they're basically pawns on a chessboard at this point. So that's why I got him. So everything was falling into place, but obviously Luke and Han show up. Just in time. Just in time. To hang out with the fucking uh, Starfighter X-Force bullshits. And well, well, they happen to catch the, uh, the what is it, the something signal, the emergency signal yeah. from uh, Wedge. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because Wedge just saw something, and he's right. like, this doesn't seem right. Hey, the fucking Rogue Squadron, yeah. get whoa, your shit. Whoa, whoa, no, Rogue. Right. They started the attack with the freighter that comes crashing into that gate, and then it explodes, yep. and then it releases all of the fucking TIE Fighters. Yeah, because like they're 30, all hidden inside. I think like, they said like 30 squadrons Something of TIE like that, Fighters. Definitely. Something like that. Which seems like... And they say that what, they actually describe it as a black cloud that comes out yeah. of the ship, and which it, seems like that would not be able to be defeated by solely Rogue Squadron. Oh yeah, and, and hey, they're the best. Luke and Han. They're like the seals out there. Whatever. <laughs> the seals. Yeah, but uh, it, it was, that was one of the big things they took from Mount Tantus, which Joris uh, Jorus was guarding, was yeah. the cloaking device because yep. that was where all of the Emperor's technology was yeah, hidden as well. Yeah, it's in the mountain. Yeah, yeah secret yeah. technology. Which, when they say like, "Oh, check check out the, the cloaking," they hit the button, nothing happens. It's like, "Oh shit!" I thought it was supposed to go invisible. Nope, right. it just makes the contents inside invisible. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's why cool. they thought the cargo ship was empty and they yeah. didn't see the threat of the <laughs> yeah. the I fucking thought, hundreds, yeah, of, yeah. hundreds yeah. of Tie Fighters. Just like fuck you, yeah. man. Which was cool. It was really cool. But then the good guys win because they have to win. But, okay, to be fair, the way that they win was fucking genius. Yeah. Han goes, he, like, tells him to go get um, Lando mm-hmm. from the, uh, they were holding him in, like, the bridge yeah. or something. Yep. And um, so he goes and gets him, and he's like, Lando, do you still know the uh, the codes and shit to access yeah. to all your mole miners? And, and he's, he's like, like Definitely. well, of course. And so, like. That was a yeah. good Lando. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Yeah. No, but, um. Yeah, because all the mole miners were already attached. Yeah, invading, they were already and attached to all the ships. They were already so, starting to like go out, like they'd taken yeah. control. He's like, "All right, there's no time to disattach or detach all of like the mole miners and everything yeah. from all the ships." So instead, and even if they did, the people would still be aboard. Put yeah. the mole miners on full blast for that fucking plasma yep. shit. And he's like, "What? Are you fucking crazy?" And he's like, "Just fucking trust me." And you're like, okay. a, "There's a lot of f bombs so in this." Yeah, fucking edges the code. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he edges the code, and all the lasers fire, and then you see all the fucking plasma shooting out of the other yeah. side yep. of the ships, yeah. and then the ships like yep. all start completely disabled. Crazy directions yeah, yeah, break the shit out of them. It just destroys all of the engines to everything. So and then, they're all trapped, and so it goes back. It cuts back to Pelion in the ship, and Thrawn is yeah. just Thrawn is living. He's he lived. is yeah. just not even saying a word. He's yep. just looking very calmly over at the monitors and everything, and Pelion is like. What is your next action, yeah. Captain? And Thrones like, we retreat. We we'll get like, out of here. What? He's like, did you expect me to get mad and simply yeah. throw all my pieces at the board and yeah. like just like yeah. just kill everyone? We all die just because we lost Which, one battle. But then I like that he said that. Yeah. And then a lot of the and then it went on about how a lot of the stormtroopers who were still left were just like fighting to their last breath. Oh, yeah. 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 The ones out in space with yeah. jetpacks. They were like, they had jetpacks so like, like, ah, I suck a dick. Bang, bang. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm we'll retreat. Much more no. strategic. I'm going to bang bang in space. Exactly. Yep. Bang bang. We'll fucking retreat. And then that is basically the end of the book. They have to end on a big win for the for the rebels. One thing I think is very important to note at the very end of the book. Well, is this no, is I, this a more summary stuff or is no, this No, no, this is summary. Stuff? This is summary. Okay. I think it's very important to note that at the end of the book, Luke Han and Lando and all the good people they don't know the name of the Grand yeah. Admiral. They don't even know. They know there all, is a Grand Admiral. All Thrawn, or sorry, they don't all know. Card said was that it's a Grand Admiral. Yeah, and so they, they, and they also thought is. that they were all defeated. Yeah, they Which thought oh, the Grand deal. Admirals were gone. And yeah. at the very end of the book, you learn, and it kind of gets you excited for the next one. You learn all of a sudden someone comes in and tells all of them like, "Oh yeah, yeah we stopped him." Oh, by the way, Admiral Akbar's been arrested. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's like Which, shit. Which. That all right? We summarized. There we go. Right. Summarize. That's basically all the matter. arrested. That took to be a continued. long goddamn time. Yeah. Uh, we're freaking. That's what happens in books. So now we're gonna talk about like parts and whatever. And the first thing, because you just said that, Tom texted me, uh-huh. and he was like, "Dude, the end of the book is like a big cliffhanger, and you're gonna want to read the oh, next yeah. one." Yeah. I started. And it. then I get to the end, and it's like, also Akbar's been arrested, and I was just like. God damn it, Tom, that's not worth any of my goddamn time. I did not care. You are invested in... I did not give a Akbar. shit about Akbar. Akbar is so important. He is no. the military for the New Republic. No. Fuck you Akbar. You think is going to do anything? Dude, seriously. Akbar is like the main yeah. fucking I force. Understand, I understand he's like the leader of the military yeah. like, strategy section of the New Republic. At the same time, he was very sparsely put in this book. And I have no... I don't give any shits about him. To be fair... The, he is kind of correct. The most predominant use of Admiral Akbar is actually from a code that exactly. had nothing to do with Admiral Akbar at exactly. all. Exactly. I think. He's I like, think Admiral Akbar's family has come to visit. Yeah. He's like, oh, how is that going? How is his family, lol? And then it's like, oh, his kids are good, but these things are bad. Oh, okay. Shuts off the thing. No, it's oh. it's code. It means yeah. the fucking empire is on yeah. their yeah. backs. Empire's on our careful. ass, guys. How did There's you know? Fighting within the because family, within the nobody gives a shit about the fish man's kids. That's why <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fish man's kids. So like, to be fair, he's a calamari. Isn't yeah, he's he? a mon calamari. Fish man. Yeah. Mon calamari. Mon calamari. <laughs> he's a fish man. He's squid. He's good people. They're good people. They're deep fry him, eat him. So I mean, I just that that cliffhanger did not. That wasn't enough to make me go like, oh yeah, I can't wait for book two and to read that. I, I don't think it was just I think far as arrested just with the cliffhanger. Interested, I'm interested in the in the continuing two sections. Because it goes on with like, oh, but there's all the other technologies I, on top of I'm That's interested like because A, too. they have the other Emperor's technologies uh, from the cave. Right. They have more stuff. B, Thrawn's pretty fucking sweet. And you want to see what he does. I want to know what Thrawn does. Like, what is his whole he's, plan? He's the villain I like where he's very methodical. His plan is just and, like, to thoughtful. destroy the New Republic. Yeah. Well, I mean, but like, how's he gonna go about doing it? I don't know. You must read the other two. That's what I care about. I don't care about uh, fucking the calamari being eaten. uh, What if that's part of his? What if that's part of his plan? Having the calamari taken out. It might be, but like, I don't. That I didn't care about. Uh, Through this book, can I say? I care far more about the villains and the antiheroes than the actual heroes. Why? What would you hang on? What would you define Talon Card as? Card is an antihero. He's an antihero. He's looking out for himself. Okay, he's I not can, looking I can out see that. for I can see that. the quote unquote new the uh, new alliance rebel good guys. I, I think Card is hands down my favorite character. What do you consider? Um, who's their buddy from Cloud City? I just forgot his name. Lando. Lando. What do you consider Lando? Is he an antihero? Lando, I would say. Yeah, I say Lando is kind of the same. He's more he's kind of an antihero. 
He's more opportunist, but he's so closely tied with the main cast. Yeah, I guess I you put him in the same boat as Card because both of them did the same thing. They both kind of betrayed, but then got better in the end. Well, they're both Lando, in the same kind of boat. Guess, Lando consider, betrayed in the, the movies, exactly. Though. Considering yeah. the original trilogy, if you yeah. consider yeah. that, if you consider at that point, yes, Lando betrayed, and then yeah. and did, then he because, got better afterwards. But at, just book, just book wise, yeah. Lando's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. At oh, this point, this part, all right, at this part of the timeline. Yeah. Well, that's not saying in the future timeline, Card might just be straight good guy. Oh, he probably I'm will just putting be. Put in the same boat he as He probably as will be, just based on like what I know about writing and how things work. But as it stands now, at the end of book one of Heir to the Empire, Card is an antihero. Uh, he's Didn't just, he help Luke? He's like escape? a neutral. He's helping himself. And Mara is in the same boat. But he's a good guy because now he's hated by. Thrawn because he helped Luke escape. Well, but he only helped Luke escape because he thought that was best for himself. He didn't do it because it was the greater good. Like if if Card was put in a put in a predicament where it was like sacrifice yourself to save the universe or you get ten thousand credits, he would, he, he would take the ten thousand credits. Yeah. He'd be like, sweet money, sweet. He's like, I can totally buy a newest ship with this. Yeah, I disagree, but I've also started reading the second book, so that well, doesn't count. Well, <laughs> now you're getting so, a whole other level. Um. Also, uh, Mara Jade. As much as Will despises her, I like. <clears throat> I like her because she's a redhead. That doesn't count. All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, uh, he just killed my point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like she's a she's a she's a pale redhead, and I'm like, I like her. I yeah, bang her. exactly. Uh, so oh, I'm all she's done. such a cunt. Yeah, but Will she's a cunt because she worked for the bad guys, and now she's to help the good guys. No, Will hates her because she's like that's like that's reminds like, her of his ex. That's like that's all reason Will, her. If you have to help uh, the exact opposite of what you've done for the last decade of your life, are you gonna be like, are you gonna embrace out with open arms? No, you're gonna be pretty pissed about that. No, no, but if I ask you like, hey, what are you pissed off about? You're not gonna be like, ah, you're not fucking understand. That was a, but that was because the author was trying to keep suspense in it's intrigue. It's not fucking suspense. It's just her being a cunt. <laughs> All right, we'll disagree on that yeah. point. We'll disagree on that. Oh, speaking of the author, what? can we go over his favorite goddamn words that he wants to use in this fucking oh, book? Oh Jesus! Gosh. You guys text me about this Fuck. so much. Oh, uh, sardonic. Yep, sardonic and esoteric. What the fuck? He used those. He used those uh, every chance he got. It's like yeah. he learned those words in seventh grade, and then he was like, "These words are the it's, best words." Here, here, here. I, I have a great way okay. to sum this up. It's Star Wars: Heir to an Empire, an epic struggle of an author's epic struck fight. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great thing for this. That could have been so good. Up. That would have been really. That would have been great. And then it's ruined. So an you suck. An author's epic struggle with a limited vocabulary. Damn it. <laughs> I fucked up the joke. That's that's the back of the book. <laughs> <laughs> author's epic struggle with limited vocabulary. Damn it. I fucked up the joke. Will Spangler. Blackout book club. Boom. 2014. 2014. Eat drink. Blackout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of these fucking pronunciations are bullshit. Which In ones? what way? Uh, Rook Ruraro. Yeah. Yeah. Rook. Fuck that. Ruruk, Ruruk, That's like a bad Asian accent. <laughs> yeah. Ruruk, Ruruk, Ruruk. For those of you who don't know, that is the capital city of Kashyyyk, yep. where Leia and Chewie uh, flew to. Which, Ruruk, which Ruruk. As, according to the audiobook, is pronounced as Welcome! Leia so organo so You guys make me so glad I read books. And now, not to now, them. part that <laughs> I actually stopped listening to the audio podcast at those sections. Did you really to read the book? I downloaded the PDF of it and I paid for it, and I was just I couldn't handle that guy's like voiceover, which has happened in a few of the books now. Yeah. Most of the time, I use the audio books because I'll just listen to it while I'm doing whatever. Uh, sometimes they're like really bad. That that uh, Wookie one, yeah, which the Wookie uh, one, the Wookie thing bothered me, and the. Uh, on Solo, sounding exactly like Brock Sampson. Yeah. That kind of fucking... He, try, he tried to be like... Who's Brock uh, Sampson? Brock Sampson from, from Venture Brothers. Brothers. Okay. The guy who does Joe from Family Guy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like him. Was ba- yeah, but like he's <clears throat> supposed to be Harrison Ford. Oh. He's not Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. That's you're not, not supposed Ford. to. You're not supposed to do it. He went way that. deeper. <laughs> that did not bother... That bothered me initially. <laughs> he's a, he's a after about like 10 chapters, I was like, all right, whatever. I, I forgot what Harrison Ford sounded like. Oh, nice. <laughs> Never forget. 
Yeah. Never. Yeah, I actually, I actually have in my notes, talent card, Puerto Rican B. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, can so we say, Tom, we obviously went over, like, who we really liked in the book. Who, yeah, who who'd you, you like? dig? Yeah, who'd you dig? I like R2. <laughs> you mean new characters? Uh, Swearing powerhouse, yeah. R2-D2. New characters? I don't know. I mean, I like Mara Jade. Ew. You did like her? I did like her. I mean, I liked her too. Ew. Will is biased. I, I like Fuck her. You. I like Fuck her you. <laughs> Fuck her. I like her because with a little insight into the future, you realize you kind of think about the change she's going to be going through, and that kind of like I, I'm, I'm excited to see what causes such a change from Do such a drastic Do we want to go over case. what she becomes? Do we want to say that? Or? No. All right, yeah. You Read guys the other books. can just figure that out. Yeah. The you, change from what? Cunt to cunty Jedi? Like what? Cunt to cunty wife. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what's what's oh, the Oh, Akbar. Uh, CW? Yep. No, no, the... Uh, <laughs> oh shit! OTV, one true pair. Yeah, uh, one true pair. One true pairing. Mine's mine's Chewbacca in R two D two. Mine's <laughs> mine's Mara Jade and Admiral Akbar. Mine's a Talon Card and Roller Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> mine's, <laughs> <laughs> mine's Luke Skywalker and Sherlock Holmes. Oh god. Uh, one true pair. What, what couldn't they do together? <laughs> Jeez. We'll solve all the Force mysteries. Seriously. I mean, Star overall, Wars. overall, reading the whole book, um, I enjoyed it. Yeah. That was important. It was cool it was to get a first look enjoyable. into the expanded I thought they universe. Were, yeah, it, which that that was a big thing for me. Yeah. I'm not a huge Star Wars guy. To be fair, those last like two or three chapters, I kind of had to force myself to read. Yeah, though. I, I was about to say that. I was on there the were, edge of my seat. There were too many sections where it was just like forced tension. Yeah. In the book, I felt it because I know that they're all the good guys are gonna get away. Right. But like, like the section where there's a standoff between Han Solo's ship. And Luke Skywalker ship, and they're both going to meet. Uh, they're both going Lando, to meet Lando. Yeah. It's like that's unnecessary. Yeah. Like I understand why he would be wary because he yeah. wants to protect his wife and his unborn children. But at the same time, as a as a viewer on the outside, knowing both sides, I'm just like, they're both good guys. Oh God, get through this fucking chapter already. But at least he kind of adds that part beforehand, where like a Millennium Falcon comes to save them as they're being attacked by the Nogriri, or the Nogri. Oh, it's one the Nogri actually bought that looks just like the Millennium Falcon trying to yeah. trick them. So it's oh, like, okay, yeah. so they're into, cool. like, trickery and using ships to try to lure you in. Yeah, so it's like, all right, ship. I understand why he's a little cautious. Well, if I, that hadn't happened, uh, he might have not been but cautious I just, at all. But I just said that. I understand why Solo's cautious, but as an outside viewer where he writes that I know who's in both the ships, there's no tension for me. So now okay. I have to read a whole chapter where... N- I understand but, the character's tension, but it, I don't get any of that tension. But at the it, same time, hang on. But at the same time, you do feel tension from certain parts. Like, for instance, when, um, what is it? When Han and Lando were on that one port and they had to meet up with... And they meet up with the... The one dude in the casino. Yeah. That, but, that was tension. But there, I wasn't clearly explained that he was a good guy and he was going to okay, hang out right, there. right, right. Like, at, like I'm saying, at this section... I know this is Luke, and I know this is Han, and they're not going to shoot each other. Okay, yeah. And they're going to get, and they're going to hang out with Lando. But there's a whole chapter devoted to that. Yeah, and they're like, Lando's X-ray. sitting over here. He's like, I don't know who's on that ship. That could be bad guys. And Luke Skywalker's like, who's those guys? And I'm over here like, you got, god damn it, you guys. Uh, <laughs> it, I mean, unless you're reading That's something like. That's a writing like, thing, though. Uh, unless you're like, reading they Game of pre- th- They could have presented that differently. They could have not told me that was clearly Luke Skywalker who showed up, and he's just like the there. Uh, he could have left me in the dark, so I'd be in the same boat as Han Solo, but yeah. they didn't. And that, and then, so like, I'm listening to a chapter and a half, and I'm just like, "Fuck this," you know? Yeah. And then that made me less interested at other parts of the story too. Like okay. by the time we get to the final battle at uh, what was the S place? Uh, Sluis Van. Sluis Van. Yeah. By the time we got to Sluis Van, I was pretty uninterested. Yeah. Uh, I, just because you know who's good and who's bad? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you could say that unless you're reading Game of Thrones, you pretty much know in most stories who's good, who's bad, who's well, going like, to win in the end. Well, like, like even at that point, like, I, I know this book was written in the fucking 70s, early 80s. 91. Yeah. Oh, 91? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That late? Yeah. It was I was oh. just looking at it. I thought it was, like, right after the, uh, no, 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 the trilogy. No. Jesus. Um, 91's when fucking episode one came out. No, it is no, not. No, that was 99, that 99, wasn't it? Yeah, really? 99. Yes. That is either 99 or 2000. I have no idea. I was born in 91, so I'm fucking... I'm wrecked. I'm sorry. I, I went and saw fucking episode one in the theaters. What are you talking... Right. I was born in 91. <laughs> right, so did I. I also saw it in theaters. I got my shit mixed up. Too many Steel Reserve Alloy Series. Blockberry. <laughs> Berry. So, 
like African American marriage. Just like I've I've heard, been told, and read a lot of stories in my day, and things like that, they just take me out of it. Yeah, but hang on, Tristan. Can you at least admit this also that once you got to Slewis Van, that the end was fucking. The epic. end was the end was good. That the ending, good. yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, leading up to Slewis Van, yes, was uninteresting and a bore fest. I thought the second half of Merker up until Sluis Van was yeah. kind of dumb. Just for yes. the entire part of like, I wow. didn't give a, I almost did not give a shit the whole time when uh, Luke escaped. Oh really? And Mara and like is chasing him. Yeah. And oh. then like the whole thing cool. with the um the fucking tigers. Yeah, the Vornskar. The Vornskar. And like he fucking like R two senses the Vornskar and she kills him and then like he goes right back to sleep and she's yeah. like, how can he be so fucking calm? Yeah, in a I'm situation just like, like this. I'm just sitting there. I'm like. You two are gonna bang, like yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she falls in love. But, but yeah, it's just uh, like the best whatever. part of the ending was like, wow, it took something so minute for it to be something that Thrawn didn't anticipate because yeah. he anticipates yeah. everything. He just made but that smallest except thing, yeah. them well, being with Lando, yeah, well, Who, and that, him knowing the slave specific code. Specific thing was it when they that left, I did like. Um, yeah, hang on, was it when they left uh, Cloud City that uh, talent, not talent, fucking card, what's his name? Thrawn was like. This is exactly what they're doing, and this is yeah. how they're yes, trying yeah. to fool Here's us. In, who's in and Lady Lost? And see, and and see I yes. wanted to bring that up too. Yeah. At that one point when they when they're leaving, like he goes, he calls, he goes every ha, yeah, he single goes, fucking he goes, play yeah. that Luke do. left by himself, yeah. Leia left with the yeah. Wookiee, and oh. they have a robot who's pretending to be a uh, Leia, and he's with Lando he right knew. now, and then yeah. didn't know that Lando showed up later. L- right? Lando's ship is the Lady Luck. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. That's true. I don't. Lady I don't remember cards. Ships. Nah. Cards. I just remember because yeah, that's when they took off in the Lady Luck right there. Right. Yeah. Also, the game was called Rage and not Rust, Tom. When's that? It was a podcast. Lone Shark. Podcast I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? Has that been posted? No. <laughs> you know about that fucking shitty first-person shooter, Rage. Yeah. Oh. Which Tom, has Tom nothing to it, do with Heir to the Empire. Tom called it just because he's saying it right now. Tom called it Rust. And then we just like agreed and they all it. agreed with and me. I just want to post that up too. One, which was recorded like three months ago now or Rust whatever. Rust is the fucking uh, Rust is the the, the, the living survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah survival game. Yeah, we're off topic. Back to the book. <laughs> yes, Tom's dumb. We're all dumb. We're all dumb. We're they all agreed all with back me. On. We're all dumb. I gotta pee. All oh, right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> should we talk about? The next part that well, we like, typically talk is about. Is there anything else you guys want to discuss about the book in general? No. I'm pretty much... Yeah, I've you run, all you my run through your notes? You run, you I, run. Run. I, I made, notes, I made yeah. the mistake of discussing things as we were summarizing, which is why it might have taken 15 minutes to summarize. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Whoops. I, all in all, I enjoyed the book, though. Yeah. yeah it was I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't regret... Oh, hear, man. He, just because of it. that Akbar cliffhanger. <laughs> just because of that. <laughs> Fuck that Akbar cliffhanger. It's not a good cliffhanger. I, okay, I think like the one thing that I didn't necessarily talk about is the relationship between the Vorinsker and the Islamiri. Islamari. It's whatever. Yeah. And the Islamari. Because remember, I say you pronounce it both ways. Yeah. But um, one thing it doesn't quite explain, but I learned from the wiki, is actually that the Vorinsker... The, which are the weird tiger things yeah. that hunted and um, what's his name? Card has two of them as pets with their tails yep. cut off. Yeah. So, um, which, which made them less hostile. Like scorpion. Or exactly. Or? Cause they whip their tails and they stun you. And so the Islamiri are the primary food of the Vornsker. And oh, so I don't remember that. Yeah. It doesn't explain that in the book. Oh, I had to okay. look it up. And so the Vornsker have an ability to sense force sensitive creatures Mm. And so that's how. That's they why they didn't like Luke when he walked in. I was just getting to that. Uh, See, that that's how they used to hunt yeah. the Islamiri, but the Islamiri developed that barrier to try to repulse that. But that's why the Vornsker react to force sensitive beings mm. like Luke Skywalker because they see Luke, they see he's force sensitive, and so they automatically think he's food. Oh, oh okay. okay, that makes sense. Now, yeah. did they did it say anything in the book about them reacting to Mara Jade? No, it exactly. does not. Which, which is weird. Yeah, which she was clearly also in the same boat. Does it so. actually demonstrate that she has? Ability to use well, the force? She, well, she has to have some force ability to be able to use a lightsaber at all. Right? Dude, I don't think they do. I anybody, don't know. I don't think they I do. I thought you had to have some force sensitivity to use lightsaber. I think anybody can grab it and turn it on and wave it yeah, in the Yeah, I air. think it's just like a switch, and it just kind of... Yeah. 
I thought you had to, have, to be able to control it. I thought well, you had to, to have, control I mean, it without your hand, yeah. obviously. But to well, be able to do the whole Jedi reflexes is the main part of it. Right, just being well, agile with it. I'll look it up later. It's yeah, not super yeah, important. Yeah, we can look it up later. I mean, if you yeah. want to know, I can tell you. Sure, do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it's in and out. Like, uh, okay. it, in the beginning of the like second books, it talks about her just being like, oh, yeah, the voices are coming back and, like, the whole her, her hearing other Jedis and her starting to get the reflexes and stuff. So she kind of goes in and out of, like, her Jedi. Her she that. tries to suppress it. So she does have a sensitivity to the Force then? Yes. All right. But she, she suppresses it because she hates Luke and hates Jedis and everything. I thought it only talked but about it comes him. Up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She hates, I thought she only hated Luke. She hates all Jedis because the Emperor... Was yeah, the Emperor is a Jedi. A Jedi. He's a dark Jedi. I, I think she kind of hates him just because Luke's one. As oh, okay. was Vader. And yeah. and she, she kind of, I think she has you know in the back of her thoughts she kind of knows like oh I might be force sensitive. So she's like oh, push uh, this down. I hate right. this. Oh, like fuck. angsty. I just like want to earn my way in life. She's like Will's ex. I'm the uh, <laughs> <laughs> See now I can't show this to any of my friends. I hope uh, you're happy. Yeah, you're it's way funnier. <laughs> 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 so overall, I enjoyed the book. Yep. I would read it. I wouldn't like. I'm not gonna reread it ever. Well, no. uh, I don't reread things. I've only I re-read, re-read, I've only I, reread one book in my entire life. I'll reread that? books that are good. <laughs> That's Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I reread them for this freaking show. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all so, should fucking read that book. It ends with an orgy and a suicide, and that's yep. how the book ends. That's if how this ended. Pick a book. He picked that. This was like an orgy suicide, but instead. Of Akbar being arrested. Nothing uh, like an orgy no. suicide. Way more intense orgy than an orgy suicide. suicide. Akbar Nothing like an orgy it's suicide. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. So we did it. We got through it. That's what happened. That were the that were that was our thoughts yep. on the book. Um, mm-hmm. now comes the part of the podcast where I always ask you guys if you could do if you could rewrite the book in a way. And RJ or, dies. Or give me a second. And or write the sequel to it. Ooh. How would it go? Scene one. Mario Jane dies. All right. <laughs> Will's got his. Let's see. Will's got his. This Book opens. Tough. This is Mara Jane. She's a redheaded bitch that reminds him of his ex. She's dead now. <laughs> Rest of the book. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I could do anything I want different. Luke to realize how much of a cunt she is and just slice her in two. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So Will's, and Will's rewrite. Uh. The main hero of the galaxy turns completely just like evil. And just just for a second. Just, just for a one second. Sec. Just one sec. He's like, man, she's a real bitch. Yeah. Slice. <laughs> That's how he deals with problems. <laughs> Gosh. Y'all don't know because you haven't finished this trilogy. Oh, no. Does he kill her in the third book? <laughs> yeah. That would be so fucking Sure. Cool. Why not? Dude, I would read it if I knew that she died in the end. Yeah, I already know what she becomes Tom, too. I read her you on know Wikipedia. things. Does she die in the end? Huh? She I read, could. I read her on Wikipedia. We'll pull out also, the Ouija board and figure it out. Glasses. Okay. That's a rule I do. That's not a glass. It's a That's a can. It's Shut up. Can. Crush this glass. You okay. can't. Because it's a ah, plastic it's bottle. Of air and oh, water. You Tom, suck. what's your alternate version and or sequel? I don't know. I just... They all kind of end the same. <laughs> like C-3PO is probably gonna get his memory wiped like he does every single time. Yeah. R2 is gonna dance around on his wheels, even though he has jetpack that he forgets how to use. That's R2D2. That's R2. He's this so perfect. That's R2D2. That is um, totally R2D2. No. The beep, 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 Let's see. is motherfucker. I'd like to spend not, more time on Kashyyyk. It's not that. I like the Wookies. You would? I'd like to spend more time there. I like the Wookiees. That was one of my favorite levels. I have a levels. bad Wookiee taste due to that <laughs> audio book. That was one of my favorite me. levels on oh. Battlefront was Kashyyyk. Uh, oh, never mind. I take it back. Yeah. It was a good level on you Battlefront. You brought Battlefront into it. Oh, oh, shit. Can I bring that up real quick? Yeah. Um, because Whatever. of like, how much expanded universe and how many video games and all this bullshit yeah. that's right. technically canon, this was definitely not Leia's first visit to Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. It was definitely not her first visit. It what, wasn't? What it's supposed to be. I don't know uh, she has been there on both, I believe it was Battlefront, and there was another story where she went there But is previously. that technically canon? Everything's fucking canon. I, mean, and, I can't tell. I, thought, I, I don't think since, everything can I be canon. I thought since Disney bought it, none well, of the since, expanded yeah, universe since is since canon. Yeah, since Disney bought it, none of this is canon, so it doesn't fucking matter yeah. at all. I just want the, to say these are that canon, she's like, aren't they? Didn't he approve this, George Lucas? No, he approved the series. Well, he did maybe back in the day. I don't oh, know. I yeah. thought George Lucas approved this trilogy. As it stands so it now, canon. everything's up in the goddamn air. Canon. Oh my gosh. After after you give your alternate version, and I give mine, uh, I would like to talk about the sequel a little bit. All right. Like the that. potential movie one. 
we tell me about that. it. Oh, we're doing a movie? No, do your do your alternate. Just they go to Kashmir. Uh, they live on Kashyyyk and start a family. That's cute. Yay. Yay. Wookie babysitters. That's That's stupid. Stupid. I hate Marge that. Marjay lives forever. You're stupid. And she loves Luke. <laughs> Fuck you. And they have a billion like kids. I like that. What no. do you want the opposite? No. That's why her to live forever. This is the worst book ever. What's that pool this that what's his name goes Twilight. into and lives forever in the comic this books? This is worse than 50 the Shades of Grey. She man. makes a Lazarus bit there and lives go. forever. <laughs> From Batman? Yeah. And as she gets older, she looks more and more like your ex every day. No! And then she becomes your ex, and then she becomes Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Who to believe? All Who right, Tristan. Thunk it? Tell us yours. My alternate version? Yes. My alternate version is the exact same book, except that the shitty audio portion on to shit. <laughs> Everything else is fine, except that motherfucker. <laughs> and also the uh, standoff where they look at each other. Uh, that whole chapter becomes three sentences long, where it goes. Wait, look at each other. What do you mean? Uh, ha, it, let me explain. Ha, it, the the whole chapter. Becomes, will will will. Let him explain. The whole whoa. The whole whoa, chapter whoa. becomes. Han Solo looks at the other ship. That's totally Luke. He says, and then they go visit Lando. The end. Fuck that chapter. I really hated it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that is. You better check the signal on that. I don't. I don't know if. Here, we better do a test. See if you get on part. the com and ta- yeah. contact uh, our Where have you been? See how many sentences that was? That was at least twice mine. <laughs> like, at least. R2, what are you doing oh, over there? Three times. Yeah. Fuck you! Ship for three days! I like mine better. So that happens, and then also Mara Jade is really, really hot, and she becomes less bitchy. She's not and that then hot. She, she becomes and lesbian? And then she becomes my waifu. Oh she's my gosh, pudgy. she's your waifu. She's my pudgy waifu. <laughs> nice little chunky chunky yeah. waifu. More cushion she, she's for, for the, the push in. Push in. Oh. Oh. She's kind of yeah. pudgy, and she's ashamed of her body. Fuck you, I read the comic, too. <laughs> She's Dude, oh. one thing I noticed when I kept looking up, uh, like who characters are, it kept coming up with panels from the comic. Yep, I didn't realize because they did, it was an entire they did comic. A, yep, they did That's a comic cool. based on this book. entire thing, which I also read. I just didn't want to like throw too much oh, of that really? in here. Yeah, I didn't want to throw too much of that oh, in okay. here. Okay. So wait, yep. how did you not recognize some of these fucking characters when I drew them? Are, they, are my drawings that bad? Mm. Uh, they no don't answer. look like the comic. They, Wait, really? No greed do not look like Skeletor, Will. <laughs> no greed don't look like Skeletor. No greed don't look like Skeletor. Did you look like what No Greed look like? No, because there's up. two Bring different versions. Up. There is the tall, skinny gray version. No, that they, nobody The blue that version one. that they describe. And then there's like the big buff, like brownish gray version that they don't describe. And so I drew the tall, lanky blue ones. Tall, blue. I drew the blue ones, not that All one. Right, so these are the ones. Those I are the big at. buff ones. These are the ones I like that. You apparently this yes. is Skeletor. That's Skeletor. Mm-hmm. See, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Nothing. Kind Nothing. of. Yours needs to be thinner and lankier. Wait. Excuse me. We scroll down a little bit. What is he holding? Uh, uh, the spe- stun, stun ones. I don't think those are the same ones. I think those are different ones. I, think still I don't think he looks very like, him as being, like smooth pronged, and like, assassin like. He does look very assassin like to me. He needs to be smaller and hunched over I, more. I just, I just saw these ones. But yeah, those are the big comics. fucking hulking brute ones. Oh, that's ones, definitely which is not, not right. What they that's definitely not right. I just looked at these ones. Exactly. Yeah. That is not what they yeah. fucking described in the book. All right. In my alternate version, the No Greer are Skeletors. And they also hang out. <laughs> and they have a birthday party for Luke Skywalker and all of his friends. And they eat cake. And Mara J gets naked. And then it goes in, in detail Inside. about her vagina. Okay. You're not. You're not. That's that strangely bad. close that's to the start of the second book. Not, actually, that's my version. You're not kinda, that exciting. You're right on that's track. That's my yeah. version. No, she doesn't look like your girlfriend in my version. In uh, my version, she looks like exactly what I want. Which is Will's ex. <laughs> 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 Poor Will. Gross. There we go. Yeah, I agree. Uh, <laughs> go <ahead. laughs> so we're done. We're so, done. We're hey. done. I'm sorry. Her name wasn't really that. Her name was like Cool Guy McGibbons. I'm sorry, Cool Guy McGibbons. Cool Guy McGibbons. So are we done now? Oh, I think, uh, I think we I are. Think I think we're past done. Can we go home? That's no. after I tell you my book that I'm picking. Oh, wait. Oh! This show's going to keep going on. What? But Tristan, that's no moon. 
New Moon? No, that's No Moon. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. But that's No Moon. Heart. That's No Moon. Captain Planet. Moon over June. That's No Moon. Oh, uh, June Hill. What are you saying? That's My grandma. No what does that mean? June. That's No Moon. <laughs> Blue Moon. What are you doing? <laughs> are you people? This is a star. I'm sorry. I picked the next book. It's not Blue Moon. It's Boo Moon. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mario. Just pick the damn book. All right, what is it? I get to pick the next fucking book, by the way. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to pick... Let me bring it up, because I want to make sure I say it right. so I don't fuck it up. Here it is. Is it the Nogri? It's the Nogri. It's, it's no a Gris. picture of a hulking Nogri. That's our book. I love it. Tristan, hurry All right, here we go. I'm texting. It's his first time I'm on a computer. I'm texting with the internet. All right. My book is called The Sisters Brothers. Oh, by Stephen King. No, by Patrick DeWitt. Patrick DeWitt. <gasps> You're dumb. By yeah. Jacob McDuffie. By... J- by Patrick DeWitt still. <laughs> yeah. Still him. Oh, he's the one from uh, Bioshock. Patrick DeWitt. <laughs> oh, is the he the one with Bosch Yar and Biodome? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's Little Sisters Keepers. They're talking about Big Daddies. It's obvious now. It's supposedly a Western book. No, nah, right? it was under C. I wanted to read a Western. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I picked. So it's Oprah Winfrey's sister act. So wait, there's an S in each uh, one, right? Sisters. I keepers. picked Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Yeah, I read that. I want. Did nobody notice I said Oprah Winfrey's sister act? It's everything you're again. saying is wrong. So it's like at this point, it this just goes the in the bucket with the rest of this it. This is the Will. point of the podcast it where goes we just say things. In the bucket with the rest of the wrong things you said. I remember Whoopi Goldberg. The Sisters Brothers. Yeah, Sisters Brothers. Are the Sisters Keepers? Sister Act. No, the oh, sisters, it's sisters Brothers. brothers. Oh. By Patrick Dewitt. Sisters. Brothers. It is supposedly a western. I'm yeah. interested in it. I like the cover art. That's my book. I pick. No, Tom. That's the book I pick. Can you tell me why you're interested, or you just picked it? Because I want to read a western, and I heard it was pretty good due to the internet. <laughs> Yeah, I typed in, what's a pretty western good western? <laughs> First one, Sisters Brothers. It and I was like, deal. Sold. That's what happened. And I bought it on Amazon, and then I just fucking like, cried the rest of the day. Oh, no. I, re- I read the book adaptation of Disney's A Bug's Life. Does that count? Yeah. Ooh. That's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. This has been Blackout Book Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for potentially surviving this long yeah. with us. I gotta go piss and take a nap. Fuck you, I wanna pee first. I'm, I'm gonna go sick of this. pass out and then pee. We have two bathrooms. So they ain't that. Now you're just bragging dish. at this point. Next wow. book. Two bathrooms? Sisters Brothers. I'm sorry. Picked by me. With the Dalai Join Lama us next here. time if this wasn't so off-putting that you killed yourself. I like the bathroom that you were going to go to. <laughs> have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Oh my god. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That was atrocious! That whole thing was terrible!